Go. The chainsaw is an indispensable and very useful tool for making firewood. One thing to watch out for with this kind of usage is kickbacks. Why do kickbacks happen? I'd like to explain the mechanism with computer graphics. I have been using a chainsaw for over a decade now. At first I had no idea what a chainsaw was. So I went to a workshop at a local forestry cooperative. There I learned how a chainsaw works and how to use it basically. At first I heard about kickbacks in that course. Anyway, I was told not to hit things on the top of the chainsaw tip and never to start cutting there. So at least I know that kickbacks are very scary. I'm too scared to experience the kickbacks. So I only kind of know what to expect. This was before I started using a chainsaw, so this is just understanding in my head. Now that I've used a chainsaw in a variety of ways, I'm well aware of dangers of kickback. These days, many people buy chainsaws over uh, internet shopping. In such case, there are not many opportunities to take safety courses. So, some people have heard of kickbacks but don't know what they are. So, I decided to make this video to explain in detail. Have you noticed this dangerous use of chainsaws? There are logs on the other side of the log I'm cutting. Chainsaw may kick back when the log hits the tip of the chainsaw bar. This case is also dangerous. In this case, you can proceed to cut and the moment stamp comes in contact with the tip of the chainsaw, the chainsaw kicks back. When an object hits this part of the chainsaw, the top half of the tip, the chainsaw kicks back. Now, I'd like to consider why it would be so dangerous. The chainsaw blade is moving at more than 10 meters per second when cutting a tree. The speed of the chainsaw blade you see now is 100 of the actual speed. If the tip of this chainsaw comes in contact with a log and one of the blades of the chain locks onto the log, the moment the red blade locks onto the log, the chain is fixed, but the engine is running, so the chainsaw itself starts moving. In fact, the blade never locks up for this long. The moment the blade hits the chainsaw, the chainsaw begins to rotate around the hand holding the chainsaw and jumps up. So how can this happen with just the top half of a chainsaw blade? What would happen if the log hits the lower half? Thus, the rotational force is not strong and the movement is like being pushed upward. 
So what if it hit the bottom of the bar? The most commonly used part. That's a force acts as if the chainsaw is being pushed forward. Similarly, if it hit the top of the bar, this is the part often used when cutting up from the bottom to the top. The force acts as if it's being pushed backward. As you can see, the only area where kickback occurs when it hits the log is the upper half of the tip. I told you earlier that the movement is this illustration is at 100 speed. In other words, the actual speed of the kickback is 100 times faster than this, so there's no way to dodge it. So, to avoid injury from kickback, at first, don't hit anything to the top half of the tip. I mean the things, the heavy objects. Watch out for logs, stamps, as well as stakes and fences. If it hits a twig, grass, but the chainsaw is stronger than them, so there's no kickback. No matter how careful you are, kickbacks can happen unexpectedly. Hold the chainsaw firmly with both hands. It seems obvious, but it's very important. Weak kickbacks can be prevented. In case of strong kickback, the chain break is applied with the back of the left hand. It won't be a major accident. I think a chainsaw is a really useful tool. I also think it's probably the most dangerous tool I have. I never want to get injured with my chainsaw. Because if I get injured with a chainsaw, will be a life-threatening injury. So I wanted to go back to basics and rethink what is a kickback. That's why I made this video. I hope I have explained in detail why kickbacks occur. Chainsaw accidents can cause a lot more than kickbacks. To avoid serious injury in such accidents, it's also important to wear chaps, safety shoes, and helmets as you see now. How was this video? Please subscribe my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Thank you.